It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is a special live uh, roadcast from uh, downtown Chicago, part of the uh, Alliance for Community Media's uh, international conference. Uh, we're going to do our 5.45 live broadcast via web stream from on the road, uh, but we're still going to do it in 15 minutes or maybe less, uh, given the shaky internet connection we're streaming on now. But tonight, we'll see Bernie as he makes a stand for global uh, warming, as a concept anyway. The U.S. Open leaves Vermont for the first time in three decades, and Bellows Falls police find themselves more than 100 pot plants. All that more, we'll do it in less than 15 minutes for you, so stick with us. to this July 31st, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden, broadcasting from the Hyatt Regency in downtown Chicago, where we're going to do 545 Live via webcast today. Uh, we're doing that because uh, we've joined the Alliance for Community Media, which is a group of uh, public access stations, kind of like BCTV, from all across the nation who have formed uh, the Alliance. Uh, they put on a yearly conference. We're here in Chicago to enjoy it. Uh, maybe if you look at the window behind me here, uh, get the, the bright lights of the window. Uh, take a look, you can see the John Hancock Observatory and much of the rest of downtown Chicago. We're here in uh, the Hyatt Regency Ballroom, a giant empty room I have to myself, perfect to broadcast from. All right, let's jump right into the stories there. Of course, you were just looking at footage of the U.S. Open in Vermont, uh, shot by my often co-captain Joe Bushy last year. Stories back in the news because Burton announced late last week that they would not be seeking a home for their event in Vermont any longer, despite more than a 30-year stint in the Green Mountain State. Uh, and uh, next, I was talking about this conference, so uh, I want to keep it going a little bit. And uh, we'll get an update from BCTV ED Core Trowbridge, who's been keeping tabs on all the workshops and uh, sessions here. We caught up with her earlier on the trade show floor, an extensive trade show here, where she's uh, been, both of us have been uh, gawking at some of the sweet equipment we might take back to your uh, local Access Center BCTV. We caught up with her about the conference. Let's take a look. We're here today in Chicago with the ACM conference. You can see in the background, these are all the vendors. Uh, Roland and I are attending sessions, and uh, tomorrow night we're going to be receiving BCTV's two awards. All right, before we wrap, let's jump into our Reformer Roundup. Kick off the Reformer Roundup here. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, get the dr drama for the Reformer Roundup uh, by talking about the Bellas Falls Police, who discovered 107 plants during a, a raid this week. And uh, zoom back in for story number two. Uh, in a shocking case of adding injury to injury, a local two-year-old has survived not one but two downtown car accidents, suffered an hour apart. The infant was transported to Brattleboro Memorial Hospital and is now in stable condition. And number three, bum, bum, bum. Um, in a sh uh, while, last week's Reformer Roundup uh, included reports of a new DNA evidence that could exonerate local resident John Grega in the 1995 killing of his wife. State's attorney uh, Tracy Shriver says she's convinced the conviction will stand, calling the evidence, quote, overwhelming. And uh, that wraps up our Reformer Roundup here, so thanks for checking in. You can tell us the Reformer Roundup because we zoom in to make it dramatic here. Uh, of course, those are just one-sentence summaries. If you want more, you got to go to reformer.com. Don't even need the Brattleboro to find out all the ways you can uh, get your hands on a real paper and get the in-depth articles from them. All right, a few things before we wrap. Uh, we're going to check in with Bernie. This is courtesy of his YouTube channel, Senator Sanders, all one word, where you can get updated as well. But we'll snip out the 20-second highlights for you, uh, including today's uh, rant from... Uh, uh, Vermont's tenured Washington politician who likes to get hot under the collar on uh, TV. And we've got a clip from him on the Senate floor posted uh, less than 10 hours earlier. Uh, he was talking about global warming today. His, mes his uh, message, it exists. Global warming is real. Global warming is real. Two, global warming is significantly caused by human activity. Three, Global warming is already causing massive and costly destruction to the United States and around the world, and it will only get worse in years 
to come. All right, uh, that's all for me from uh, downtown Chicago. You get to wave goodbye here. We'll be back Friday for a new in-studio edition of 545 Live, so be sure to check in with us then. Uh, we'll get all the uh, latest updates. In the meantime, for BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden.